I Can Do Maths came about um, when I started teaching, which was about 25 years ago. And what happened was that Schofield and Sims uh, mental arithmetic books were available in the school where I did my um, first teaching. And we devised a system, which we called I Can Do Maths, whereby every child was given a 100 question test and we made sure that we put them on books of an appropriate level so it was differentiated across the school. One of the difficult things in a normal maths class or a normal year group is that you'll have children who might range from say level 2 to level 5 and what I Can Do Maths does is target ch children who are of a similar ability level put them all together in one room and therefore enable the teacher to really get down to um, the basics with children that they need to know in order that they're going to make progress as they go through school. One of the great things about I Can Do Maths is that it's repetitive and the children will come across similar questions every week. Um, each of the tests that the children do might have a theme running through it so sometimes they'll be converting grams into kilograms or uh, millimetres into centimetres and that means that they get many goals at working out different questions. If they don't get it the first week, well in the Friday teaching session they'll be taught what to do and they'll be able to apply it the following week so hopefully the child's knowledge grows quite quickly. It also stretches the children because when you get toward the top end of I Can Do Maths you end up teaching the children about things like pi and uh, radius and diameter and so on and those aren't things that you'll find in every primary school. There's no point in doing I Can Do Maths on its own. You need to teach the children basics in maths if they are to succeed. I think that other schools should use I Can Do Maths because um, it's cost effective, it doesn't cost much to set up, it really inspires children and staff. What you end up doing is creating what I call a maths culture across the school where actually it becomes cool to achieve in maths and children want to do more than they've ever done before. Thank you.